you okay? Just like you and JR. Never better. Well, she did what you told her to. Did you get what you wanted? Yeah, very. Get the civil suit started. I'll call the police. For once in your miserable life, you're gonna back off. This is JR's to end. However he wants it is the way it's gonna be. Too fish to drinking. You either need a bigger liver or an AA meeting. This one, my wife, is for you. It's a toast to our stunning reversal of fortune. From our failure to expose Dixie, to you working your wiles on Dell. <laughs> and I went to Crow Hollow, and all I came back with was a hangover and a honeymoon video. All wastes of time and effort. And all we had to do was sit back and wait for that woman to turn the tables on herself. So Dixie is dead? And a long life to the half-sister Di Kirby, wherever she may be, for the next 10 or 20 years, I hope it's behind bars. <laughs> they were living a lie. Now get over it. Can't you be halfway human? Your son just got hit with his mother's death all over again. He's got me. I'm all he needs. <gasps> you are first cousin to a snake. You'd trade little Adam's teddy bear for a, a weasel and call it a good deal. I'm not going to let you spoil my good mood. This is a night to celebrate. Yeah. Only if J.R. can find it in his heart to forgive Di. No, that's never going to happen. He's too much my son for that. JR won't come out of this. Nonsense. He's a Chandler. Sometimes down, never out. Di's been hit pretty hard herself. And it seems like she's truly sorry for all the pain she's caused. She damn well should be. She invaded our house, our lives. She's still family, Adam. No, Dixie's family. She's JR's family, too, you barnacle encrusted piece of ornery. It's clear to anybody with eyes and half a heart that she really, truly cares for your son. What is this? You couldn't wait to expose her. Well, next time, I'll be more careful what I wish for. Di Kirby endangered everyone in this house with her underworld ties. She should be thrown back into prison and left there to rot. Punishment has been handed out all the way around. Nobody's been shown much in the way of mercy, which is why seeing you guzzling that vodka and crowing about winning just makes me want to toss my cookies. It's not just Di and J.R. that your heart bleeds for, is it, Crystal? There's Tad. His heart's pretty well been shattered, too, miserable creature that he is. Him and his three, count them, three DNA tests. He got exactly what he deserves. You really are as heartless as they come. You know, it's too bad you're married. Dad certainly could use someone to sort of be there to help him pick up the pieces of his poor little old broken heart. Adam Chandler, you are beyond despicable. That crack about Tad, me wanting to be free to hold his hand. You had a thing for him. And it's over. No, I don't think it's as over as you insist. Oh, come on. I'm a married woman. Yeah, moonshine marriage, one step above shotgun. But uh, circumstances have changed. Now that Tad has been um, dumped back into the dating pool, I thought maybe you'd, well, you want to have a little, um, little skinny dip with him, with your private eye. Uh-huh. Wouldn't that just float your boat? No, Crystal, you know how, what an incurable romantic I am. Oh, God. what passes is your heart would fit in a flea's navel. <laughs> well, if I'm so heartless, so utterly despicable, I think you'd use that as a, an opportunity to go after Tad again. And I would, gentleman that I am, open my arms and give you a quick, no muss, no fuss divorce. Mm, well, aren't you just every shade of sentimental? Well, FYI, honey bunch. Tad Martin is no way in my future as I can imagine it. 
And seeing you partying through all this ugly, sad mess has made up my mind in permanent ink. I am never leaving you, hubby old mine. Your punishment has just begun. Open your ear flaps, you sorry excuse for a human being. I've got one man in my life that I care about. He's upstairs in his footsie pajamas in his crib asleep. And now I'm worried about him more than I ever was because today I saw up close and ugly how much of an example you set for the people that live under your influence. So I am staying right here, parked right here, and I'm going to stick to you like a porcupine quill and not for love and not for money because I'm going to make darn sure that you don't mess up little A's life like you did your own son. So you just put on your crash helmet and pull down that visor because I am taking you for the ride of your life. <laughs>